from the continuous upsurge in tourist arrivals to significant decline in interest rates, we bring you the latest economic updates for the month of February 2024. Hi, I'm Tarusha Ashoka and welcome back to the First Capital Monthly Economic Watch. The legal dispute between Hamilton Reserve Bank and the government of Sri Lanka continues in the Southern District Court of New York with Sri Lanka requesting a further five-month stay of proceedings due to ongoing debt restructuring efforts. Sri Lanka asserts that the judgment in favour of Hamilton Reserve Bank would undermine in debt restructuring negotiations and risk the IML-supported programme impacting the country's economic rehabilitation. They highlight international support for the stay of proceedings and emphasize the importance of judicial economy and U.S. policy in granting the extension. On the government security side, the secondary bond market witnessed a strong bullish sentiment during the month, resulting in a substantial decrease in yields, ranging from 78 basis points to 197 basis points across all tenors. Notably, the T-bill auction saw a significant decline in weighted average yield rate, leading to a sharp decrease in yields for three-month and six-month maturities, both closing below the 10% mark, while the one-year bill dipped to 10.05%. However, in the last week of the month, auction yields were seen increasing across the board for the first time since end of August 2023. In line with the declining trend of interest rate movements, AWPR decreased below 12% and recorded at 11.5% towards the end of February. If we look at the inflation for the month of February, month-on-month -month inflation stood muted while the year-on-year -year inflation decreased to 5.9% in February 2024. The year on year inflation of food group increased to 3.5%, while non food group decreased to 7% in February 2024. Analyzing the month on month inflation, expenditure of food items contributed negative 0.67%, while non food items contributed 0.62%. Within the food items, decrease in value changes were mainly reported for fresh fish green chilies, big onions, red onions, and limes. Among non-food groups, increase in value changes were mainly reported in transport, housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuels, alcoholic beverages, tobacco, and narcotic, and etc. Meanwhile, NCPI for January 2024 increased to 6.5% year-on-year. Foreign reserves increased by USD 104 million to USD 4.5 billion in January 2024. In terms of the government securities, there were LCAS 699 billion worth of maturities during February 2024, and new issues through auctions worth of LCAS 770 billion, creating an excess of LCAS 72 billion. CBSL Holdings declined by 40 billion in February and remained above LCAT 2700 billion. Moving on to external sector performance, trade deficit mounted to USD 541 million in January 2024. In terms of exports, earnings from exports marginally decreased by 0.8% to USD 970.7 million in January 2024 amidst the decline in industrial exports and mineral exports. However, earnings from the exports of agricultural goods improved in January 2024. Within the sub-segments, garment exports to most of the major markets experienced sizable decline, while tea exports increased during the month. In terms of imports, import expenditure increased by 6.2% year-on-year to USD 1.5 billion in January 2024, mainly due to the increase observed in imports of consumer goods and investment goods. 
within the sub-segments importation of food and beverages, telecommunication devices, home appliances and household and furniture items exhibited an uptick. Worker remittances too continue to expand year on year to USD 488 million in January 2024. Earnings from tourism for January 2024 increased to USD 342 million from USD 154 million in January 2023. Accordingly, balance of payment for January 2024 was recorded at USD 178 million compared to January 2023, which amounted to USD 211 million. In terms of tourist arrivals, the total arrivals for the month of February was recorded at 218,350, displaying an increase of 102.8% year-on-year, recording a post-COVID all-time high and pushing the cumulative figure to 426,603. This is the third straight month Sri Lanka welcomed over 200,000 arrivals, marking a hat-trick. Accordingly, key source markets during February 2024 is stopped by Russian Federation, India, the United Kingdom and Germany. In terms of the currency movement, LKR significantly appreciated against USD on a month-on-month -month basis and stood at LKR 310 towards the month end while on a year-to-date basis, LKR strengthened against most of the major currencies including Japanese yen. Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar. Finally, moving on to the global market, a positive sentiment persisted among most of the major indices which were seen thriving in the green during the month. So with that, we conclude the monthly recap for February 2024 and stay tuned for more updates in the future. Thank you.